Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, I've been looking through the comment section and whatnot, and I've gotten a couple of common questions um, throughout the comments that you guys made. So uh, they're asking if you need calcium sources for your crayfishes. Um, so I'm sure if you've had uh, shrimps or other crustaceans, I'm sure you're aware that the molting and the shells are made of calcium. So uh, calcium is actually very important for all the crustaceans like shrimps and uh, crabs that you keep, including crayfishes. Um, I've had a um, specific like powder brand that I used when I bred shrimps in uh, before, but uh, with these guys, I don't actually have the powder anymore only because I ran out of the powder and then I don't exactly breed shrimps anymore. So I thought it'd be fine, but I think this is a really good question. If crayfishes that you keep need calcium sources, um, actually they do. It's actually very important for you to provide them with some kind of source of calcium. Uh, and I will talk about uh, some of the best source of calciums that you can actually provide for these crayfishes. Um, I would say that the calcium source that I am going to tell you guys in this video isn't exactly like you don't have to necessarily use it for the crayfishes but also they can be applied to your shrimps or crabs that you use but you can also do any further researches on your specific breed that you have whether it be you know uh, neocaridina shrimps that you have or caridina shrimps or crayfishes so uh, I'd say some of the best sources of calcium uh, can come from some of the better brands that you see on online uh, however uh, they tend to be actually some like very pricey and whatnot so uh, breeders like me, uh, I have to really think about the amount of money that I spend on some of the supplies that I use for these guys only because I will keep them for a while and then the amount, the quantity that I need uh, is a lot. So compared to somebody who keep maybe, maybe like three to four, or four uh, crayfishes, I will use so much more quantity of whether it be food or you know supplements or the amount of water that I filter out. So uh, I was thinking and uh, some of the best source of calcium to provide is actually one of these cuddle, cuddle bones that you can find commonly at any pet shops. So uh, this is actually, you know, not exactly the brand that I am, you know, um, going for. It's just any cuddle bone that you can find anywhere, whether it be Walmart, PetSmart, Petco, or Amazon. So uh, cuddle bone is known to be entirely made of calcium, and it's actually pretty uh, brittle. Uh, it's easy, easily breakable, and it's about, I guess, regularly they go about four inches like this one. So uh, cuddle bone is actually a really good source of calcium for any crustaceans that you keep only because uh, it's entirely made of calcium and uh, it's actually very easy to you know supply them these calcium source. So what I do is I grab a, a cuddle bone and then cut it into maybe like a fourth, a fourth of a size, so quarter size, uh, so about an inch. And then I break them into a little powder, like tiny little powders, and then I spread it across the tank. And uh, that, usually I have a filter on so it can spread throughout the tank. And then once it like settles and whatnot, and these guys will, you know, consume the calcium and then it'll go straight to their, to their shells. Now that's one way to be honest, and that's how they consume calcium source when you spread it throughout the tank. Uh, however, the amount, uh, I can't exactly tell you. I use a lot of uh, cuddle bone, not exactly like too much right now, only because I ran out, but I would use about an inch of cuddle bone uh, every month. I think that's a good amount, but if you want m to provide more calcium, you can definitely provide maybe two inches of cuddle bone every month, but that honestly depends on your fish tank size and the number of crayfishes that you have. So I have this, I guess, uh, 75 gallon fish tank over here filled with about uh, 15 to 20 adult crayfishes. So, you know, about an, about an inch of cuddle bone uh, made into a powder and spreading them out throughout the days or weeks over a span of month is perfectly good for them. And uh, I've noticed these guys missing uh, you know claws and whatnot uh, more often nowadays that's why I'm doing this video and I think it'll be very helpful for you guys if you guys want to keep healthy crayfishes uh, as well as shrimps so you can use these cuddle bones uh, as a source of calcium for your shrimps as well however uh, you can definitely use other powders that are provided by their you know larger brands or some of the brands that you know well 
uh, you can definitely use those but I would recommend if you're going for the uh, quantity rather than I guess not exactly quality I'm not leaving out quality here because cuttlebone is strictly made of uh, calcium so it's a really good cal uh, quality source of calcium but I'd say if you want to you know save some money and you use a lot of calcium like how I do then I would go for um, cuttlebone also I have one of these options right here this isn't exactly like solely for calcium um, source but it's mineral it's uh, from Aquion uh, shrimp essentials it has all the trace minerals and other essential stuff in this um, little container but you know I, I use this ever since I bred shrimps like the picture that you see here uh, the CRS uh, I use this Aquion brand for quite some time now and it actually very it helped a lot with keeping you know good quality shrimps but you know I sold them all and now I do you know crayfishes but anyway and one last best source to provide these guys in terms of calcium is dun, 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 you'll be surprised is actually snails so in in my case I have ram sworn snail uh, as you can see here and the reason that these guys are very very good source of calcium is because first of all they're meaty uh, they, they provide actually a couple of things uh, other than calcium so they provide protein the meat itself the snail itself inside the shell and the shell when they consume the shell the crayfish when they consume the shells it provides enriched very very good source of calcium so uh, I breed these guys as of right now and I have a couple to show on the wall. Oh, maybe they're not here. They're all over the place, but you know, they're very, very tiny, so it's gonna be a little difficult for me to show you guys. But yeah, so snails of any kind, in my case, I would recommend Ramsmore snails because these guys are very easy to breed. And I actually did a video on breeding these guys, so definitely check that video out if you want to actually provide the snails as your calcium source. It's You don't have to buy anything except for a couple of snails for you to buy when you start breeding them. But other than that, they'll do all the work. For example, look. I have all these babies, baby snails that are laid here and they'll hatch within the next week or two, which is great. And so I basically have endless, endless number of calcium source from these guys. So they're great food, great snack, as well as great, great nutrients such as, you know, for the calcium purposes and protein purposes, it'll help everybody. You know, these guys definitely also eat all the algaes on, you know, your glass, as well as to provide good calcium source for your crayfishes and other shrimps. But, so in this case, you have to consider if you can also, you know, provide these snails to your shrimps, but no. The shrimps are too small to eat these hard-shelled, uh, hard shelled um, snails so these crayfishes would work the best so yeah he's already excited but yeah if you have any other questions in terms of other sources of calcium you can provide these guys and you know other detailed questions leave it down in the comment below and I'll you know do a, another video if I if I can so well uh, yeah definitely I'll leave a like if you like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later Bye-bye.